What's going on? This is Reese, uh, Evil Marsupials, MarsupialEmpire.com. What's going on? It's your boy Sermon, the Sermon's Domain.com. We are doing the review for the Barter Six, the long awaited, much anticipated album from Young Thug. Actually, it's a mixtape. It's a retail mixtape. Uh, Young Thug's actual debut album will be out August 28th. What's the actual album? Um, it's pronounced high tunes, but when you see like how it's written, it is. It doesn't like you can't even tell. You're like so it's like Prince with the symbol. Yeah, like but it, there's there's like letters and then. So what's that? Stuff. Oh, that means Prince. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, okay. So obviously it's a retail mixtape because that's the new thing now. There's the second one we've seen so far. Because there was a Drake one and now the the, the Bar Six. Yep. Everything come out of Cash Money is now a mixtape. There's no longer albums. It's just mixtapes that you can sell as albums. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so getting into the Barter Six, a lot of controversy surrounding it and the name. Because it was originally titled the Carter Six, which mm -hmm. is extremely controversial. Just Carter, he didn't have the the part attached. Well, oh, Carter Six. It was well, still. It was originally titled Carter Six, which was hella controversial because um, I mean, obviously, Lil Wayne with the mm -hmm. Carter series, and at the time that he was talking about the Barter or the Carter Six or Carter Six, the Carter Five hadn't even come out. Right. So it was like, yo, that's mad disrespectful. You signed mm -hmm. to the next level. And for a young thug to continue to say to everyone, hey, I'm a fan of this guy, it's my idol, da 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 da, you know, he's about the reason why I make music. And then you do something, he said he was paying homage to Lil Wayne. Wayne obviously didn't take it that way. Mm -hmm. And now they're embroiled in this whole. But on the, on the flip side, before we get into the music, I just want to point out that Young Thug's been saying that he's going to title his, his project this. He's going to do Carter Six for like, since like last March. And Lil Wayne. Didn't speak on it. Didn't have any objections. I mean, I get it now because he's having issues with cash money. But if he had any, you know, objections before, I feel maybe like he, he didn't think that it was serious. That could have been. True. Maybe he was just like, bro, that's just he's just talking. Right. You know what I mean? Like he's not really gonna do that. Or maybe the label's not gonna let him do that. Right. Maybe that's what he thought. And now, obviously, baby's riding the young thug train. Yeah. No pun intended. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, baby, baby is not, um, you know, he's not signed. Uh, young Thug is not signed to Cash Money. It's three hundred. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, you know, he's strongly affiliated with. So let's get into the music, man. What did you think of the album? Um, so as I told you, I downloaded Thug's mixtape um, in preparation for this because I'm not a Young Thug fan. Right. I think he's often intelligible, and I can't understand what he's saying, and so. That's the main complaint from everybody. Yeah, but I don't think that he. But the man can flow. Yeah, I don't know if he can rap, but he has some flows and some melodies. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He can write the beat well. Pause. You know he does that. Mm -hmm. So I, mean, I don't know. But when I was but like upon listening to that other stuff before, listening to like thirty tracks that he's done, it's like okay, let me get myself prepared because I want to put myself in the mood. I don't want it to be against it, right? Mm -hmm. But I was impressed with. I don't know. It didn't underwhelm me, but it was exactly what I expected. I'm just not impressed by it. Right. You know what I mean? It's not, nothing really stands out. I expected to hear more, um, I really like the collaborations that he has with Metro Boomin. And I was surprised that he wasn't on the album more. Well, I, f I feel like they're, they're saving it for the, the Metro Duggan okay. album. Okay. No problem. Just instead of giving us more, you know? Yeah. But I just felt like, I mean, maybe, and again, that's just my personal bias, but again, I don't understand what you're saying half the time, bro. So I can't really say your lyricism is on point. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If this is just some music that you just want to turn on and ride to the club to, yeah. or here in the club, yeah. that's absolutely fine. I don't really need to know what you're saying. You know what I mean? I just need the vibe. Yeah. You. But again, I was I was just like, I mean, Ti did his thing. One of his best verses in a while. Absolutely. I was really surprised to hear Dolph on the album. Young Dolph. Shout out to that man because he showed out on the album. Yep. Never had it. One of the best joints on the thing. Mm -hmm. As soon as I heard his ad lib on the hook, I was like, yep. Mm -hmm. be good. Yep. Very good verse. Um, the standout track to me that we were talking before was Halftime. Remember yeah, we were talking about the, all the, the animal references and yep. all that? He said, and I like fish and water. I'm a bear. That is legendary right there. Is it? It's legendary. How many, how many rappers call themselves bears? And not only did he call himself a bear, he backed it up with the fact that he likes fish and, and water. water. Okay. Well, anyway. I don't know at the same time. Or, you know, he's just sitting there with dinner with a fish on the plate and a glass and of water. And a glass of water. <laughs> um, but I do feel like halftime was like a standout. Um, yeah. That I can't tell because obviously T.I. and Boozy was on the album too. Mm -hmm. Boozy Badass. I hate hearing Birdman, but Birdman sounded better than he has ever. 
Who wrote those raps? What do you mean, ever? He's never sounded that good. Uh, big timers. No, he didn't sound good with big timers. He just made good music. No, he sounded a lot better with big timers <laughs> than he has as a solo artist. I didn't like. Oh, I didn't like any of the Birdman features. I felt like Constantly Hating was just kind of like. I mean, if I had to pick out of the two between Constantly Hating and Knocked Off, I'm going with Constantly Hating. Yeah. But I still don't think any of the verses are really good. I don't think any verse on this album besides. It's kind of sad when and young, when young Thug can watch Birdman. Like it, bro. He did. Don't lie. This album's terrible. <laughs> like the more we're talking no, about it, bro. I feel like I like the album, but no, it's not good, man. I like only a select amount of songs. Let's like see, we'll, with that is is a banger. I like that record. It sounds good. It's a good record. London on the track. But here's the thing: they all sound decent. They mm -hmm. just all sound boring and repetitive. Not all of them sound good. I didn't really get into like Dream Dome. Mm -hmm. Uh, the the OD, I didn't like, no, OD, I didn't like them. OD and numbers. It's like the 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 last half of it, maybe or maybe the last four songs just didn't really click with me. Cause they're the same songs. Mm -hmm. They're all these. Every song on here is the same song, bro. Besides can't tell. Besides can't tell and never had it. Besides that, bro, these are all the same songs. Mm -hmm. I'm they're all disagree. songs. They're all songs that we've heard before from mm -hmm. him. No, I get it. I can get that. They don't sound like everything in this. No, no, no. Everything's but, not. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. They're not all the same sound, but they're all the same sound that we've heard from him before. Right. And it's like I'm tired of hearing. You're this expecting thing. something more than better. Just, you expect know. something better. And the best song he ever did was Warrior, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. That was like the best song he ever did. So I'm mad that it's not on this. Seriously, right. that would have been like an absolute plus. I wouldn't even have minded that it's on two other mixtapes. I'm like, oh, cool, that's on here. It now makes the project better. Yeah. But um, I'm just tired of Young Thug, bro. I just feel like his train just needs to stop. Pause. I just feel like... Well, it's not anytime soon. I feel like Young no, Thug is going to you know, keep going. But I wouldn't mind if he wasn't part of the music industry. Mm -hmm. Only because, though, dog, no one ever understands you. One. So you don't have like, any quotable lyrics, really. Except for, I like fish, I like water, I'm a bear. Right? But it's just like, bro, like, yeah, you're I'm making it. Blown away by that. And, and, another thing is, bro, like, you're so sexually ambiguous that it, I can't really, like, I don't think that people are really going to be able to relate. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you don't really establish a fan base. Mm -hmm. When we went to the Young Thug, Travis Scott show, hell of people were there for Travis Scott. That's not to undermine Thug as a performer or even as an artist, but it's like, people aren't really a fan of you so much as they're a fan of, like, your character mm -hmm. that you've created and the controversy that follows you. You know what I mean? That's that's how I feel personally. Mm -hmm. I know we got like two or three minutes left, but no, I understand. Um, yeah, like I said, I mean, out of this, I, I pick out a couple songs. You know, with that, can't tell, never had it, and probably halftime or like the four that I'll be like, oh, I want to play these these four. Yep. But that's not to take away from some of the other ones. Like constantly hating is not a bad record. Mm -hmm. Checks not a bad record. I like. He doesn't make bad songs. Yeah. I think that's the thing. He doesn't make bad songs. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna talk about music. Music and songs are different to me. Yeah. If you were gonna rate it, where would you rate it? Well, I was thinking about this because if I were to rate like the the Rich Gang Part One, which is my favorite, you know, project that had Young Thug on it and Rich Homie Quan, I would have gave it like a like maybe like a four point two. Or so yeah, because you were really this, high on that. Yeah, I loved it. And Bar to Six is definitely not stronger than. Than nope. that project, so I'd have to give it like maybe I don't know, like a three point three, because I feel like it's it. The more you listen to it, the more it sounds like a mixtape. The mixtape quality, it doesn't sound mm -hmm. like his debut album, and right. that's why I'm glad they they made sure and said it's I'm a glad mixtape. that you told me that because I didn't know that before. Yeah, but then again, there's like I don't know, man. I mean, to compare it to other stuff in that class, there was the Drake album that gave us gems, bro. I wasn't yeah, really that, high in it. I can't first. really compare it to. Well, I'm just saying. All. I mean, it came from like the same place, kind of. Not really. I don't know, man. Drake and Young Thug have like nothing in common. I'm not talking about them in common as far as uh, like as far as the artistry goes. So they came from the same camp. I mean, still Birdman assisted. Birdman ain't, didn't help Drake with no mixtape. I'm not saying. Yeah, I'm saying it from the same label, kind of. I mean, is he not signed to Cash Money? Where is he not? Is he not? No, he's not. Okay. He's 300. Young Thug is 300. Then what's the whole? Even though it says, even though it says Cash Money under there, it's the project. This Barter Six put out by a 300 in Atlantic. 
His 300, okay. uh, Atlantic distributes 300. Okay. Um, what would you rate it? I mean, I'm not going to go lower than three because you can vibe to it. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to want you to vibe to it, but you can if you want to. Um, I'm going to give it a three. But that sucks because I gave the Drake album three. Did you? I think I did that first. What's wrong with you? Because I allowed you to do this? Yeah, well, you gave it, you didn't rate it too much higher. Did I even read it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I remember this. Because we were on the fence, remember? Because we hadn't sat with it for long. We only had it for like a week. Yeah. But I'm going to give it a three. Well, I've listened to this long enough, bro. And I'm not going to play it anymore. I'm just not. I understand. Um, but it's not because I don't like Young Thug. It's because I don't like the music. You don't like Young Thug. Right. right. But <laughs> I was open to, I mean. You're open to it. I was open to listening to it. I was open to reviewing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't want to go unbiased either. Mm-hmm. That's what I tried not to do. I understand. You really know the truth. I don't want to say at all. And you definitely don't come off as biased. I don't think. Right. I mean, Just, the comment section will probably think differently, and it'll probably get at you. Absolutely. But but yes. um yeah, subscribe to the channel, like the video, um, let us know your comments of what do you think about Barter Six below. Um, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter at Sermons Domain at Even More Supios. And um, if you choose to go to iTunes and support Barter Six. Go listen to it on Spotify and then decide if you want to buy it. Let's do it on title now. Mm. See, that's the title plug. They pay me to do that. Look <laughs> <laughs> at that hat, man. I love this hat, man. This hat's dope.